mechanic, if you want a mechanic on something, you want a mechanic on a NASCAR or a Ferrari, right? You want to you work with the best. But my goal now is no less than changing the direction of the American healthcare delivery system. I know it can be done a hell of a lot better than what it's being done now. Um, another part of my background is I worked for the pharmaceutical industries for 17 years, so I've been on the other side of the fence. Um, but I know that we can affect the American healthcare system much better from the preventive side than we can on the maintenance side, or just perpetuating, perpetuating illness, which is essentially what we're doing with the uh, pharmaceutical industry. What is it we're facing exactly? So if you want to look at numbers, by 2030, more than one third of the entire federal budget will be spent on Medicare and Medicaid alone. That's pretty sobering, right? So is this fact here. Looked at another way um, from my friend Rob Wolf, Medicaid and Medicaid, or Medicare and Medicaid costs are projected to consume 300% of the US GDP by year 2030. Okay, so I'm a political science guy and I know as good as anybody that numbers can be manipulated and words can be manipulated to say anything you want, right? I mean, that's pretty much what political science is. But all you have to do is, look at that. Anybody go to their state fair this year? I mean, you don't really need numbers to know that we've got a serious train wreck getting ready to happen with the American healthcare system. And some more numbers to look at. 50% of all Americans will be obese in 2030. Holy crap. And we know that the disease follows obesity, I and mean, just about hand in hand. So we can't pay for that. And the thing is, we can't run from it either, because even if we are healthy, even if you individually are as healthy as a horse, it's still a financial strain on the nation. It's, a fin it's certainly a financial strain on infrastructure. If we can't, you know, if we're spending 300% of GDP on health care, there's going to be nothing left for infrastructure. Nothing left for defense, nothing left for anything else. So your quality of life is going to be affected. And it's not like you can run from the U.S. and go somewhere else because it's the same everywhere. The U.S. is just leading the pack. 